Hi, welcome to Guelph Life. I'm Scott Fraser. Today's episode comes to you from Royal City Musical Productions rehearsal, and we'll find out much more about that later on in the program. But first, the 10 finalists from universities across the province gathered at the University of Guelph for the final friendly but fierce part of the Train with Grains contest. Here's a look. What's happening here today? So we are here at the University of Guelph for our final Train with Grains competition. So uh, in the background here, we've got some athletes competing with the power ropes or about halfway through the day. Were you pleased with how the contest came together for a first time event? We were. We got over 40 submissions uh, for the video contest and then some of the views that those videos were getting. I think one of the videos had over 1,500 views alone, so 1,500 people watched and made sure that student got here today. So we're really th thrilled that we had all 10 athletes available to come here today and to compete and they are so eager and passionate and they are competitive and they're ready to go. It's perfect. And how is this good for grain farmers of Ontario? So this is um, the exact the outcome we wanted to know is just to have people thinking about grains, using grains in a healthy diet and to have athletes show that all the athletes behind me do fuel their bodies using grains, whether that's barley, oats, uh, corn, soybeans or wheat. And it shows because of their athletic abilities that they're able to do today. So we were able to meet our goal of just introducing grains to some university students and having them prove that training with grains does have benefits. Will we look forward to another competition next year? We would love to put on another competition next year. I mean, we're still in the planning stages for that, but we would love to do it again, yes. If people want more information about this or anything else Grain Farmers of Ontario offers, where can they find it? They can visit our website, goodineverygrain.ca. They can go on there and see some of our public outreach events that we're uh, participating in this upcoming season, and then they can just learn a bit more about the Train with Greens there as well. How exciting is an event like today for you with the OUA? Oh, it's fantastic to see the collaboration between the Grain Farmers of Ontario and the Ontario University of Athletics and to see the response from the students to, uh, to engage in this kind of competition and then bring them together. You know, we have representation from a number of different schools here today. It's great to see. And you see a variety of different athletes here from different sports competing as a group. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And this was a contest that was open to all students, not just student athletes. So the social media aspect is kind of fun too to engage the students to get involved with it and also to have them here today. It was nice to see that they were able to fit it into their class schedules to come to Guelph. There's a little more than just bragging rights available to these kids. There's some great prizes. Yeah, absolutely. We had uh, full support, obviously, uh, by the Grain Farmers of Ontario. There's some cash prizes here for the students that are here today. So everybody's walking away with something. And Adidas has been a tremendous partner as well with the athletic gear, as well as weekly prizes throughout the entire contest. So uh, a lot of prizes have been distributed. There's going to be more today. And, and I think that was the attraction for everyone to travel as far away as Ottawa to come to Guelph today for a one-day competition. Congratulations, Cassidy, on becoming the first female winner of this Train with Grains competition. Tell me why you decided to enter in the first place um, I thought it was just something really fun to with my friend me and my friend entered together making a hockey video and it was just our season was done it was a lot of fun to get back on the ice and we were just hoping for the best out of it and tell me about today how hard was today uh, definitely more challenging than I expected we thought it was gonna be a lot easier just simple stuff but these challenges are really hard but it was a lot of fun all together everyone was getting along great so it was a great day all together and would you recommend this to friends for perhaps another contest next year Oh, 100%. It was so much fun. Just from coming to Guelph, the actual competition, the video, the recipe, everything was just so fun. I would definitely recommend it. And the money is awesome, awesome as well. <laughs> and so what will you do with the money? Still haven't decided that one yet. I know I'm splitting it between my friend who uh, did the video with me because it was us two starting it from the beginning. Um, but I don't think we fully decided yet. So congratulations, Chris, on becoming the first winner of the Train with Grains competition. Tell me why you decided to enter in the first place. Well, for me, like as an athlete, especially knowing a lot of athletes, I didn't really know what to kind of eat before or after workout. It would kind of just be like whatever mom cooked or whatever I could get my hands on. But entering a competition like this, you really get to see and really get to see the intricacies of different grain products, and and like it really puts an emphasis on just taking care of your body and eating right. And especially when we have a um, Team Canada national member ranking our recipes, it just kind of sets the standard for for future for future meals for sure. And then you had to do a video. Tell me about your video. Yeah, so the video is actually great. I did it uh, in Brampton at uh, Flash Training. And like I had a couple of guys like in the video as well kind of help me out with it. And like the thing with me, I just wanted to be creative with it. Like I was doing a, a, like jump, a bread push-ups. I was doing jumping weights, like anything that would get people watching it and anything that would really get people giving it likes and views is kind of what I did. So my best advice to give is just be as creative as possible and have no boundaries really. And then tell me about today. Today was a great time, to be honest. Like, 
first, I just want to thank the Grain Farmers of Ontario, first of all, because look, they put us in such a great situation. They gave us a hotel. They gave us food. Like they really, they really made it special for us. Not, not really depending on what place you came. And I feel like everybody kind of had a good time. And it doesn't matter if you're first or if you're fifth. But like, I'm really, I'm really excited to be a part of this one, especially because it's the inaugural one, and especially because I did win. So that's always good as well. But just like doing the fitness testing, it, it's surprising really because like. A lot of people are good at different things, right? So just trying to kind of be the best of both worlds and really try to compete at the highest level for every single competition was challenging, but a good experience nonetheless. And so if they ever have this again, would you encourage your friends to participate? Oh, most definitely. Considering I've got a, I was able to get first in the social media score, so I'm sure a lot of my friends are waiting for the next competition to enter in. So I know for sure next year there'll be a lot more entries for sure.